Hi, this is Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Friday, November 25th. Hope everybody had a really nice Thanksgiving. And let's see what today's energy and message is going to be all about. How many cards do we have here? We have two so far. Let's see if we get one more. What is today's energy all about? What is the message we want to take from today? Too many cards. Sorry. Just want one more. There it is. So we have the Hermit, the Ace of Wands, and the Justice card. And then I, I um, was playing around with this Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz uh, cards. I've read this book a couple different times. I have um, also believe it's one of those pay it forward books where you you read it, you pay it, pass it on to somebody else. It's a very quick read, um, but it really has inspiring messages. And sometimes if you are struggling in your day, um, there are four agreements that you need to live by in your life to help you bring you peace and patience and understanding. So that is today's message. Um, and I'm gonna to read to you real quick the four agreements. So it is be impeccable with your word, don't take anything personally, don't make assumptions, and always do your best. If you live by those four agreements, miracles happen. I bought this deck on Amazon, so if you want to pick it up for yourself, it's, it's um, I think it was like 18 bucks. All right, so the card is be impeccable with your word, manifest your true intentions. And this is Chichen Itza, uh, one of the Mayan ruins. Um, we were there, um, when were we there, 2019. It's an amazing location. Um, and so it's, it's something where if you set your intentions, you can build anything. And for decades and lifetimes and generations, you still have a place to come to and call it your own and call it a part of you and call it part of your generational, um, you know, um, imprint or, and these are things that we've built these things as sacred spaces for us to come to. And maybe that's where the hermit comes in. It's like the hermit goes within. They create and they love the sacred space. It's about being in your own power and being that, and knowing your inner light and knowing your inner self. And I'm gonna grab this card real quick. As you can see, like his sword, it's kind of it's kind of bright, and even on his belt buckle he has a heart. There's a part of him that's so soft and his inner his inner knowing, but yet he on the outside it can he's he's matching to meet the elements, but on the inside he's very soft and bright, and there's a part of him that understands nature, is in tuned with nature. There's a bee right there. So that's, that's when we go within and we realize there's so much within us that has so much value and so much passion with this Ace of Wands. There's so much passion and fiery energy that we can move forward with and enjoy life and enjoy everything it has to bring. Um, you know, as you go about your day through um, whatever it is you're doing, try to make every experience um, joyous. Regardless of what happens, find the positive in everything you do. Set your intentions. Nothing can ever hurt you. Be impeccable with your word. Um, use your passion to feel yourself through any situation and be positive. And, and it's not about, really about being positive. You don't want to be superficial with that positivity because there, trust me, there are a lot of people out there who are superficially overly positive. And that does nobody any good. Being positive is being willing to overlook the situation, not fall victim to 
the experience, but rather to see it in a different light. And sometimes you have to catch yourself if you start getting hooked into it or attached to a situation. You have to kind of find the blessings in disguise of the experiences. But once you can step out of it and have the awareness of what it is you're trying to do, it makes it easier. And this is where the justice comes in at because the scales are truly balanced in everything you do. When you are able to step out of a situation, you learn the ancient knowledge, you earn, you learn the ancient wisdom of how to balance yourself in every situation. You realize there are gonna be things that aren't always gonna go your way. And you're gonna realize there's things that people are not always gonna understand about you and you're not always gonna understand about them. But when you hold a mutual respect for their, their, their situation and your own, justice is always going to weigh in those who favor a, a unconditional outcome where we put aside our beliefs, where we can put aside, you know, um, how we've been conditioned to society and then hold a bigger uh, understanding that life is so beautiful and there's so much to be grateful for. We can then be setting that example and teaching that ancient knowledge and how to, do, to be accepting, to weigh that scale in both parties is a favorable outcome for both parties involved and for everyone involved. Lay down your sword find the beauty, the spark in the moment, and balance yourself in every situation. So that is today's message. Um, when you can balance yourself, you're being impeccable to yourself, and you're showing how amazing and sacred you are, and the generation, and where you've come from, and how, how far you've come also. I'm going to read the back side of this card real quick before I end. It says, regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will all be manifested through the word. So be loving, be accepting, be understanding, and especially for yourself. Go within, find that spark of inspiration within yourself to then help inspire others. That's how it works. Have an amazing day. I wish everybody well. Thank you again for all of you who have liked and subscribed. Really appreciate the feedback and comments as well. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.